I'm not sure I did know 100% that it was going to work. And we had a lot of conversations with the people who were financing the movie. would be like, how's this going to work? Are you sure this is going to work? And I'd be like, it's going to work great. And of course, you don't know. Of all insecurity yeah, for the I mean, financiers. Just... And, um, and the, the truth is, anytime you do something a little bit new, you, you don't, there is no guarantee that it's going to work. It works great on paper. And of course, it's not until you get into the edit where you know... Whether it does, and I'm I'm thrilled that it seems to have uh, it seems to work. You know, the idea is that you know we watch a lot of these movies where, you know, you go in and the first thing it says is based on a true story or inspired by real events, and then you have this sort of sneaking suspicion that everything that follows or a lot of it has been very embellished or exaggerated. And with this, the story was so extraordinary um, that it didn't need much of that. And then when I started when I started to meet the real guys there. They were so unusual and their voices were so sort of honest that I felt there had to be a way of including them in the movie in a way that makes your experience of it and your engagement and investment, not just in the story, but in the characters, much deeper because of it. How much did you find that you scripted that and it worked or, you know, you did a lot of experimentation on set and some of it worked and some of it didn't? Or were you pretty much, you know, to the bone, you, you had it down going into shooting? Yeah, it was a very, you know, it was a script that I wrote and rewrote. And I wrote, initially wrote the script based on letters that I had exchanged with these four gentlemen. And, um, and then when we sat down, when they finally became free men again and we sat down and we shot the interviews... They said a lot of what was in those letters, but they also didn't say a lot of what I had expected them to say. And so then there was a whole process of having to go back to the screenplay. So you started we this while, while you guys were still incarcerated? How long ago was that? Uh, we were all released in 2012. And so we started About talking with Raw in 2008. What did you think when he approached you and started talking to you about your story and possibly making a movie about it? And did he initially tell you that it would be something that you would be taking part in outside of just the interviews? Yeah, I mean, I think it was billed originally more as a documentary, so we were uh, surprised when it took on a more scripted um, uh, aspect. But um, I think we all thought it would be you know, a, a cathartic experience, and we thought Bart really shared our vision as far as wanting to be raw and, and honest and open about these horrible experiences in our life. And uh, it just, um, it was unique to find a filmmaker who was, you know, having the same exact thoughts as we were. And it just felt right. 